You know what? After the recent Digimon episode, I was actually pretty pissed off. <laughs> to be honest, it threw me off and it made me feel like I couldn't predict where this season was going, which as a long-term fan of Digimon actually made me pretty upset. But I recently discovered a potential theory that would explain and quite possibly reveal the entire end of Ghost Game. So let's get right into it. It's not going to explain everything, I only recently developed it, but I think it's more than a good start. So. To start describing it, to put it bluntly, there is a Digimon that's going to show up that goes by the name of Proximamon. Before I fully describe it, credit to Jade Azura for always making some of the coolest gifts of these Digimon episodes. They have a nice Tumblr. So in the previous episode, the Digidest, well, they're not Digidestin, the Digi-Aware <laughs> had gone to the digital world and discovered it's corrupted by... Oh, they still don't know what the virus is, or they still don't call it. It's the GRB virus. I don't know why Herostat doesn't just say that. Maybe he doesn't know, but disturbingly, they never mentioned how it looks like Galus Gammamon's color palette. I guess they didn't want to um, be assuming with him, I guess. But in any case, the Digimon are driven crazy, and they're all on a wild goose chase to essentially figure out what's happening and find the source of the virus and defeat it, potentially or something like that. They don't really seem to have much of a plan aside from exploring the Digimon world and seeing if it's safe. But as for that, something I want to point out is actually involving the end of Digimon Ghost Game. And this directly goes into Gammamon's actual data link. So Gammamon is a virus type Digimon that's said to come from extragalactic space. It's not really said where in extragalactic space, and what that means more likely than not is that it probably came from another universe. You're probably wondering why I'm mentioning this, but it actually goes very well into the theory that I'm mentioning, especially since it was supposedly made from a digital signal of all things. Now, I'm not going to save too much, but a digital signal normally cannot leave the digital world unless the, the dimensions are close enough for it. But in this case, very few Digimon are powerful enough to do that, but one being is in the digital world, and that is Yggdrasil. Normally when evil's not going on a rampage, Yggdrasil is the only one capable of doing this, and until this season actually started, there didn't seem to be much evil in the digital world. However, it's completely overwhelming the entire region now, and I'm starting to think that Yggdrasil actually created Gammamon for a very specific purpose. So getting into the data of Proximamon, this is a highly mysterious Digimon that is said to govern the destruction and creation and possess immense power. Now I don't know about you guys, but as a long-term Digimon fan, I know for a fact that there is no Digimon capable of just destroying and creating everything unless they have absolutely hacked the system, such as this guy, Lusamon, or in his chaos mode, who had both holy and dark energy inside of him. He was not supposed to happen, but in the case of Gammamon, it seems like it's executed almost perfectly. It's stated to theoretically manifest as was predicted in a simulation on a high-speed computing device. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Yggdrasil is the only high-speed computing device that's capable of even processing what the digital world is. Whenever normal Digimon come around technology, they cause it to bug out or it glitches out or something, or it just breaks down, shuts down, crashes, gets hacked or destroyed or blows up. <laughs> to put it bluntly, Digimon are a complete data overload for any system, aside from Digivices, unless they choose to not like overload the system, but they have to be careful about that. In any case, Proximamon is supposedly the final Digivolution of both Galus Gammamon and Gammamon's light side Digivolutions combined. It was, theor it was theorized by another YouTuber by the name of Digino, or the Digino, that Galus Gammamon and Gammamon's light side would DNA Digivolve potentially with one of the side characters to form Proximamon. However, it turns out that there is something that is much more likely to happen that actually involves Zed Millenniumon. And this goes into the theory that I had been coming up with actually. I actually figured this out today because I have enough knowledge of the digital world to, um, I guess, come up with theories on the fly. Maybe I spend too much time on this. <laughs> In any case, Zed Millenniumon was defeated it's a multiversal threat that has only ever been taken down by Ryo for good. 
and I actually mean for good in this case. Digimon 2020 did not defeat it, the reboot did not destroy it, it just turned to Moon Millennium on and came to this space. But I think that Gammamon was actually created to ensure that Z Millennium on cannot form again. So let me explain. Zed Millennium on digivolves into a Digimon by the name of Moon Millennium on, an ultimate level called a Wicked God. And the fact that this thing cannot physically touch anything and yet is still called a God says something as to how much power it's called. Its very move is Death Crystal which is honestly almost breathtaking. But the thing about it is that Moon Millennium on has a very other interesting trait. So this is Ryo, the guy who defeated Z Millennium on and Millennium on in the past. He was seen doing so in season two in a cameo. However, something to note here is that Ryo had actually defeated Moon Millennium on by having it DNA digivolve with his rookie partner Mono Jumon right here, eventually into Cyber Jumon. And Cyber Jumon has the destructive instincts and power of Moon Millennium on, but it is in a way a digivolution that is a DNA, it's like a DNA digivolution that's been compressed like it's put in a file. So Mono Jumon can digivolve into Cyber Jumon supposedly without it being a digivolution. He does not need to recombine with Moon Millennium on to do it. However, Moon Millennium on is still in there and can take over Mono Jumon and his instincts alone from Chimeramon can overpower it, which is why Ryo has to always kind of try his hardest to keep Cyber Jumon from going on a rampage from all the destruction it causes. As you can see here, it's pretty violent due to Moon Millenniumon's influence in darkness. I think its entire uh, dark schema here is actually due to all the evil and pure hatred that Moon Millenniumon has. Moon Millennium on only ever actually fused with Cyber Jermon because it was originally supposed to be Ryo's partner. It was, yeah, you heard that right. For those of you who do not know, this Digimon was originally a Digidestined partner that was jealous and envious of Ryo that it couldn't be it's that it couldn't be his partner so it created all these different games which is which only aired or released in japan and you have to fight moon millennium on and it created all of these dark data forms of the digi destined from season one for rio to fight and the fact that rio actually defeats them and with all the digimon including tai's agumon he uses tai's own agumon to defeat tai before he's even like before he's even revealed in this series Ryo is an actual legend, and what feeds into this fact is the fact that, to be honest, Moon Millennium on is actually, excuse me, Chimera Mon that Millennium on and Moon Millennium on came from are about like eight different mega level digivolutions combined. So that's Monojumon, that's Kabuterimon, that's Greymon, that's Angimon, that's Chimeramon, that's Devimon, that's Airdramon. I'm counting seven already, and I think I almost said Angimon before. No, it's Metal... Yeah, it's Metal Greymon's hair. So I'm counting eight Digivolutions. So whenever Z Millenniumon exists, it is actually eight mega level Digimon Digivolving at once in one form. And that's why it's so chaotic and overpowering. And that might also be the reason why it appears to have eight different bands around its body or at least eight different parts around it. But as for my theory and what I was theorizing, it seems that Gammamon will quite possibly have to uh, DNA Digivolve with Z Millennium on, or rather Moon Millennium on here, if it doesn't Digivolve and can instantly destroy the digital world, which is always possible. And that is what could create Proximamon. And Proximamon sprites have not been revealed too much. I'm going to show them right here. So this is Proximamon sprites. And if I'm being honest, the ability to destroy the entire digital world just by existing is rather ridiculous. Um, there's no way that a normal virus type is capable of doing that. And I'm not even exaggerating. Even demon lords like Lusamon and uh, Ogudamon 
that menace that I mentioned in the other previous video, they would take time to get that done unless they have some sort of hack ability like Zed Millennium on to destroy it instantly. Which is why I believe that Moon Millennium on is actually going to DNA Digivolve with Gammon. And part of the reason for this theory being what I believe is 70 to 90% correct, which means it's almost guaranteed to happen, is that Gammon has Galus Gammon inside of him. And Millennium, well, Moon Millennium on is attracted to evil. It likes evil Digimon because it can manipulate them. It creates evil Digimon for that matter. Every evil Digimon from every season was actually created by Moon Millennium on's influence. It has multiversal influence and that's how it gets the name of the Wicked God Digimon. So as it actually turns out, I think that Moon Millennium on and Gamma Mon will actually be combining into Proxima Mon. And this theory probably isn't actually half-baked because it takes a long time to even explain how Digimon work in this regard which means that all of my data had to be fully backed, properly researched, properly looked over, and properly um, analyzed in order to come up with the best and most accurate theory possible. The only reason I was wrong about Dogomon is not because Dogomon wouldn't digivolve into Leviamon, but because the writers simply choose to not make Dogomon the final boss. Though they still might do it, I can only imagine what Proximamon is actually going to digivolve against which very well might actually be Leviamon, given its ability to destroy the entire digital world in just one attack per its uh, Digimon wiki. But in any case, this is my theory for what, I mean, for how Proximamon is going to actually come into the digital world and into the story. I think that Gammamon is still going to exist after this the same way that Cyber, well, Monodramon existed after this. It's just going to be that he has Moon Millenniumon's destructive power within him. And since Proximamon has an axe, it might be possible that um, Kiyoshiro's secondary Digimon that Digivolved, um, I'm going to look it up, Digimon Ghost Game. I keep forgetting this guy's name, Kiyoshiro. This guy's secondary Digimon, which is an Armadillo Dragon-esque Digimon, is very likely to actually become the Axe of sorts, I believe, for what Proximamon uses in its attacks. But in any case, I can't find the picture right now. <laughs> but regardless, this is my theory regarding this, and I think that it's actually a pretty solid theory. So hopefully I am 50% right. Honestly, I view being 50% right about these things as being um, somewhat accurate. That's satisfying to me because they don't confirm anything in this season. They're still not explaining why the Holy Angel Digimon were not in the uh, Sky Fortress or whatever that they recently went to in episode 65. But I view that as Yggdrasil removing them so that they would not attack Moon Millennium on and potentially throw off its plan to have... Uh, Millennium on in general, Moon Millennium on, be sealed inside of a DNA digivolution like with Rio. But something to note here is that I think this is the same Moon Millennium on that actually showed up with Rio. It's just that it might be that it's multi universal and that there are just multiple iterations of it in different universes and that it just chose to exist here. Like, maybe, I don't know. To be honest, maybe Rio lost control or something after season three was over. I don't know for exact. I don't know exactly, but regardless, that's my theory, and <laughs> I'm actually going to be kind of happy if it works out. But we'll just have to wait and see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's my opinion about this and my theory. So. Feel free to credit me or something if something comes up. I'd actually be kind of happy to get the shout out. And I will see you all in the next video. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.